Hey guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome back to Tales of Zillia. At last, it has been a minute. It's been a minute since I streamed in general. Uh, I had a lot of stuff go on uh, lately, so I haven't been I haven't been able to stream often. So I haven't played anything in a while, but I'm back in full force. So uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really remember what we were doing last time, but um, I do know. Give me a sec, I have to adjust my mic. I got a new chair today, so my mic might sound different for now. My audio is all good, but yeah. Um, as I was saying, I don't really remember what we were doing last time, but I think I looked at the I looked at the previous VOD, and uh, we were actually just starting the Shandu side quest. So I guess we're gonna talk to this person right here because she's right here. Sorry, I wasn't able to speak with you earlier. I'm Carla Outway. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Mila. Rowan, a pleasure to meet you. Carla's a historian and a teacher. That's very admirable of you. Not at all. And how about you? You won the tournament, right? That makes Elise one of the youngest winners ever. Really? Remember what I told you about Master Hemming? He won his first tournament when he was 14. And until Elise showed up, his record was never officially broken. And what about unofficially? An astute question. Unofficially, the youngest person to win the tournament did so at 12, the same age as Elise. He was a young boy who fought his way to the final match alone without even using a Lilium Orb. That's crazy. Are you sure he wasn't a spirit? No, no, of course he wasn't. His name was Erston Outway. Erston Outway? Is he related to you? My brother. This happened 20 years ago. But why wasn't his victory officially recognized? Our father was the chief of the Outway tribe. But we were a small tribe, and the other tribes used their influence to change things the way they saw fit. That's just how it was back then. So you're saying his win was taken away? Yes, it was his opponent's doing. He belonged to a tribe that was very close to the king. 20 years ago. That would place it before the dawn of Azur. Before the current king took the throne, the chiefs of several large tribes ruled alongside his predecessor. Many people were killed back then, but our current king put a stop to that. I see. Anyway, I have an important errand to run. See you all again soon. Imagine having a hard-fought victory erased like that. I wonder how Carla's brother felt. I used to be quite a martial artist myself. I defended my position as the army's second strongest fighter throughout my military career. If it were me who was robbed like that, I'd have hunted down my opponent and thrashed him again when no one was looking. R Rowan, you play pretty dirty. So what would you do in that situation? Me? I... I can't even imagine. That sounds rough, yeah. Winning the tournament without even using a Lilium Orb, that's crazy. But if I'm not mistaken, I don't think we really started any of the Shandu side quests. Oh, is this a cutscene? Possibly a cutscene. No sign of Jurgen. I hope Elise is okay. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctagall was conducting at Fort Gondola? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Roshigal already has booster technology as well. That would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctical might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Isla told me you were back in town. I'm so relieved to find you safe. Thanks. 
Are the wyverns you promised us ready to ride yet? Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. Hey, maybe we should warn the King of Ashul how ugly things will get if war breaks out. The King does seem pretty popular. Do you think maybe he'd fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. This is a war we're talking about here, not a tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face chat with the King myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. It's crucial that we meet the King of Ajul. We'll head for Kambalar right away. Uh, okay. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there, too. Did Zhao tell you that? If the king truly wishes to protect his people, he'll give me the answer I seek. If he gives me the wrong answer, I'll remind him of his duty. I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea. Let's go pick the king's brain. Oh, I just remembered. All our luggage is back at the inn. Let us go fetch it. <laughs> they're just like, they're just like dragging Elise, or Elise. Alvin, you did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. I'm a surprise. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, O oh, hallowed spirits. Never a dull moment with that guy. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the Force power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. But they will be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, they would just disappear? A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. <sighs> Still... I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious. Retweet. So true. Oh, that, that's gonna come in handy for Zillia, too. Keep that thought in mind. By Let's the way, for Kanbalar. Yeah, I kind of want to do some side quests first, if you don't mind, Jurgen. Exodus Shadow. It seems that Exodus has slipped through our fingers. There's nothing we can do about that now. They must be as desperate as we are, given their behavior. And what do you intend to do about Alvin? If we send him away, he'll only follow us, and we can't neutralize him by force without risking our own lives. Therefore. The safest solution is to keep him where we can see him. Besides, for good or for ill, that man has the power to change the circumstances of any situation. That is not a power to be dismissed lightly. Nor is the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. Hey, <laughs> yeah, very true. Um, nostalgia for this is uh the continuation for Mila's pendant. If I'm not mistaken. Do you ever think about Nia Kara? Ivor will protect it in my absence. 
There's no need to worry about the village's safety. Oh, I wasn't asking about that. What I meant is, do you ever get homesick? Oh. Sometimes I do miss the purity of Niakara air. Well, if you ever want to go back, just say the word. Yeah, so they have those skits that give you hints on uh, side quests. But yeah, that com I think that completes uh, Mila's pendant if we go back there. So, we're definitely going to do that. Did I do the quest about the winner? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Alright, so literally all literally all the quests that are after Labari Hollow, I didn't even touch. Which, uh, we can go to Niakara now, but I want to do the ones in Shandu first. Yeah, we did History of Aljul. That's the one we did where we talked to Carla. And go to the elevator near the Coliseum entrance. Go to Alvin's mother's house. We'll just do that because we're, like, on the way. Ba, 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 ba. My dogs are good. Thank you for asking. It was a lot harder, like, the first week, but it's been five days. They're doing a lot better. Who's this? My mother. She's not doing too well. I don't have a father or any siblings, so I have Violet look after her when I'm not around. Well, hello. Hi. It's nice to see you, Balin. Slipped out of your house to come play, did you? What a shame that Alfred isn't here to play with you now. Where did that boy go off to? What is she talking about? Leticia, Alfred's away at boarding school, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. That poor boy must be crying his eyes out. He's so shy, and he always gets so lonely. Don't worry. He sent a letter saying he's fine. Oh, yes, and that he'll come home for his next break. I promised we'd take a trip on the big boat when he does. I know. Alfred said he can't wait to go. <laughs> you know what he said in his letter? He said he hoped that I wasn't crying. Isn't that funny? He's such a kind, thoughtful boy. Being away from her hometown has been tough on her. And my dad dying didn't help. All she talked about was how she wanted to go back home to the house we all lived in. Maybe she's happier now that she's forgotten all about that life. Oh. You've been doing all this for your mother? Yep. All these dirty jobs, it was all for mommy. Touching tale, isn't it? Alvin, you don't have to be like this. Spare me your sympathy. It's all rotten in the end. It's enough to drive me crazy myself. Excuse me. Got something to say? Listen. You know that I was an orphan too, right? If I hadn't gotten involved in that line of work, I never would have survived my childhood. In other words, don't say anything to Jürgen. Also, I don't want to look after Leticia anymore. And I want you to tell Exodus to leave me alone. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't do that. Only Exodus can make the medicine my mother needs. And you're the only doctor shady enough to prescribe it. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go straight. Sorry. But I think it's a fair price for keeping my mouth shut. How could you? All I want is to live happily with Jürgen. And you can. 
As long as he doesn't find out about your past. <laughs> All done. But she's crying. Yeah, she's a big old crybaby. We're just gonna leave her like that? If you're so worried, go console her. Comfort the poor, tragic princess. <laughs> I forgot how dark this game is, especially with Exodus. I forgot how much blackmailing Exodus does. It's crazy. Uh, where was I going now? Near the Coliseum entrance, I think. Ba 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 ba. Uh. I do plan on playing Zillia 2, but I don't know when. It's not gonna be a part of the marathon, though. It might be, I'm not sure, like... I didn't say it. I'm gonna say this now, but if I play Tales of the Abyss and I'm like, yo, I wanna play another Tales of game, I might do either, um, Fantasia or Zillia 2 for a sixth game. If I play Abyss and I'm like, yo, I can't get enough of Tales of, I might consider doing another. What's up? I need a favor to ask you. Do you think you can help me acquire a mysterious bead? Sure. I need them to make a secret Kataro clan medicine, and I, and I kind of need to make it soon. So please hurry. I'll do what I can. Can't guarantee. Is that um the causing of spirit climbs part one? No, I couldn't have been. Well, that's potent potions of Kataro clan. Was that available before? It might have been available before the start. Oh no, these are missables. I keep forgetting my god is for missables only. Alright, so we did Mother and Child. We did History of Aljul. I don't think we did Cause the Spirit the Spirit Climbs. Do I have that already? I might. I don't think we did the cause of spear climbs. Yeah. There's supposed to be an elevator near the entrance. Is what the game is telling me. I keep forgetting my guide is only for missables, which I don't mind because missables are the most important things. Yeah, go to the elevator near the Colosseum entrance. Is it like where the wyverns are, possibly? Could be. So we gotta go back to Neokara at some point. Ba 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 ba. This is the only other elevator here. Yeah, no, that's not it. Let's head back to Neokara now, then, I guess. 